This machine in the middle of the room is the planetarium. The building gets its name from this machine. This is a planetarium star projector. For over 50 years, the students and community of the Chesapeake Public Schools have been educated and entertained at the Chesapeake Planetarium. The story is Zeus struck Patheon out of the sky with a bolt of lightning. And for the last 46 of those years, one man has been at the helm. We use it uh, in the elementary grade levels mostly, grades one through six. Um, and it's really a, a, an instructional tool to motivate students to get interested in the sciences. And so each uh, day we have grade levels come through here. We present programs based on what they're doing in the classroom. And uh, I look at the planetarium as a support tool for what the teachers are doing in the classroom. It's, it's, it motivates the students to perhaps uh, think more about their studies of science. So it's a great motivator. However, after over a half a century, this great motivator is in dire need of an update. You know, the technology that he is using was extremely old and outdated, and, and but for his ability to garner parts from around the country and store them in boxes and put keep things held together with with Elmer's glue and duct tape uh, there, there was a tremendous need to update the equipment. With science being at the forefront of our future the time has come to build on this past and to unlock our potential. The goal of the Chesapeake Education Foundation is to upgrade our planetarium and science program. This upgrade would take place in two phases. We are very much anxious to expand it and enhance the capability of the uh, operation by putting some new equipment in there. That's the first phase of the uh, foundation's project. But then the second phase is gonna be to put up a new building with a, also a museum, a science museum attached to it that'll uh, not only provide uh, expanded opportunities for community and students, but it'll also provide uh, more opportunity for parking and all those things that we do not have here. About 200 million years ago, the Earth began to split and move. The Education Foundation has a chance to uh, help fund something that will be seen by so many people. This facility is one of the few facilities owned by the school system that gets such widespread use. All the elementary students in the city will come through here. Um, we are outgrowing the facility, of course, and we would like to expand it into a science center where we can maximize that effort of bringing the students out of the classroom to the planetarium and then have an exploratorium sort of room or a science center with it so they could experience a lot more science than just the planetarium. We will continue to offer free programs to the public and the new facility would become a destination for all the people of the Chesapeake area. STEM has become such a big deal that this is an extension of the STEM program. Recently, the first dream session was held to begin the process of laying the foundation for the new Science and Planetarium Observatory Center project. Our dream is to build a new facility, a new planetarium that would also, in conjunction with that, we would have a science facility and um, the technology that we will um, upgrade will be able to be transferred to this new facility when that becomes a reality. And our hopes and dreams are to create a facility that will take us to the next 50 years. Look, this is, we're talking about something that's going to last for a long, long time. So why lower the bar before we even start? What we want to try to do is match the vision that was put forth in 1962. We, we feel now it's our, this generation's responsibility to create another asset that will carry the education experience into the 21st century Chesapeake for the next 50 years. Right now we don't have anything. We have the planetarium and that's been all the science that we've had. So to incorporate a whole science center into the planetarium where the students can come and be immersed in science activities, hands-on projects, hands-on exhibits to help them to open up and see this, to see where they can go to build that passion for science and to see that the planetarium and how the whole world of science builds upon the planetarium. The future is now for the Chesapeake Science and Planetarium Observatory. To invest in our future, please make a donation either by mail or pay online through PayPal at www.cpsef.org.